First at 11, the next tough task ahead after the deadly school shooting. A delicate effort about to begin to preserve the memorial to the victims. Tomorrow marks exactly six weeks since 17 people were murdered at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. And now as plans move forward for a permanent memorial, the temporary one is about to be taken down. CBS 4's Mike Cuno live in Parkland with more on the important job to preserve it. Mike. Yeah, guys, it's really dark out right now, so you can't see, but there are actually people still here late at night checking out the memorial one last time. That's been the case throughout the evening, but tomorrow is when crews will be out here at 9 a.m. to start cleaning up the sidewalk. Nightfall marks the final few hours for this memorial outside Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Visitors stopping by for one last look before a crew of 30 to 40 people begin to pick up the items left to honor the 17 victims of last month's shooting. All the bears, pinwheels, signs and other mementos will be gathered by volunteers and taken to Florida Atlantic University for safekeeping. We intend to do it with reverence and respect. The idea being that we're going to be collecting all the items for purposes of preserving them into the future. Mm -hmm. uh, our intention is to make sure that they're put into climate controlled facilities, uh, stored properly with archival materials so that they don't deteriorate over time. Commissioner Ken Cutler says he called the victims families personally about Wednesday's removal. And we've extended to them the opportunity that if they'd like to come and look at the materials and, and if there was something that was very personal to them that they felt they'd like to keep as a keepsake, of course we would respect their wishes. The Parkland Historical Society will be in charge of the pickup. Nearly everything will be cataloged or reused right down to the flowers. That stuff will be collected mm -hmm. and either ground up or incinerated by the city and used in our gardens as fertilizer. All that stuff will be saved and used in remembrance of the people. The idea of an extension to the library or a museum to house these items has been floated around. Sadly, one couple allegedly decided to take some for themselves. Broward Sheriff's Office sharing these pictures of the stolen items. Right now, Kara O'Neill and Michael Kennedy remain in jail. Now, Commissioner Cutler says they've been through this process before when they had to take away um, the memorial at Pine Trails Park. So they do have practice in this sort of preservation. In Parkland, Mike Cunio, CBS4 News.